do any of you have any of those closets in your house where you just don't really know what's supposed to go in there, everything is kind of just rolled up in a ball and just shoved in there, slam the door shut, forget about it. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how I turned our linen closet from messy, unorganized to a functional linen closet that has the items that are supposed to be in there. Now everyone knows where things go, so stay tuned. Hey there, Christy here, welcome. Here I'm just saving money by building things around my house myself. And on this channel, I hope to inspire you that if this mom with zero experience can just build simple things, then you can too, while using simple plans and simple tools and keeping things at a fraction of retail costs. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. First, I'm starting with a full sheet of plywood, cutting it horizontally first to the width of the closet and then cutting it vertically to the depth of the shelves. Let me just take you back really quick and show you why I want to redo this closet. I just couldn't take it anymore. My kids asked me how they could help. So here you see them clearing out the closet so we can get it emptied and that way I can start removing the wire shelving. I just wanna take a second really quick and show you what was shoved inside this tiny two foot by three foot closet. I'm talking about stuff that we just don't need, so we donated about 95% of it. Now I need to remove the hardware from the wire shelving. And when I was done, I think I counted 32 holes that I needed to spackle up. So here I'm using my putty knife to fill the holes with spackle. It goes on pink and it dries white. So the inside of this closet's pretty roughed up, so I'm gonna paint it in a color called sea salt. Now the fun begins, building the shelves. First, I'm locating the wall studs and marking them with chalk, and I'm repeating this all the way around the closet. These one by twos that you see here, I will refer to as shelf cleats. So the plywood that we had cut down to size will sit on top of these shelf cleats. So let me show you how I fastened them to the wall. I start by marking where the wall studs are on the shelf cleats. Then I pre-drill holes into the marks that I made. And here I'm using three inch interior construction screws. Ensuring it's level, then I move on to the next. Marking the wall studs on the cleats, pre-drill and screw it in. So on the left side of this closet, the shelf cleat was only gonna hit one wall stud. So I need to install a drywall anchor and that way my screw will drive right into the drywall anchor. It's level and secure. And just using my hand, I'm just wiping away the chalk as I go. And I'm just continuing to repeat the same steps until I get four rows of shelves. Okay, all shelf cleats are installed. Next, I'm prepping for paint. So here I'm using a sanding block of 220 grit sandpaper, sanding off rough edges and splinters, and painting the shelves in ultra pure white. And now just placing those shelves on top of the cleats. I only painted the shelves top and bottom. The front will be covered with a front edging piece that I'll show you here in just a minute. And I have these just sitting on top of the cleats. You can screw them down if you'd like to, but for me, I didn't find it necessary. Next, I'm adding the front edging piece and I'm just using a one by three. I'm attaching with wood glue first and one and a quarter inch nails and my nailer. And then just filling the nail holes with spackle. Remember it goes on pink and it dries white. I'm just applying with my finger and then I'm gonna use a putty knife to smooth it out. And when it dried, I used a fine grit sanding block of 220 grit sandpaper, gave it a light sand and used some touch up paint to cover the nail holes where we spackled. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this. I post a new one every week. Details are in the description box in case you miss anything. As always, if I can inspire just one person to pick up a drill, then these videos are worth it. Keep tackling those projects and we'll talk soon.